What's up everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars news roundup. Just a couple of days ago, Deadline and Variety were both reporting that Natasha Lou Bordizzo has been cast as our live action Sabine Wren, specifically for the Ahsoka series. So we should still specify this is under a rumor, both Deadline and Variety were like, our sources say, and multiple sources confirmed, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but still there's no official announcement, but it makes sense. I mean, this is the same way that we learned about, like, Rosario Dawson, Timothy Oliphant, Katie Sackhoff. Right. So I I'm expecting that we're not going to get official word on this until we see Sabine in the series, just like the others. Yeah. But what do you think of this? Just the m more word. I mean, we've had rumors of Sabine being in live action for a while now alongside Ezra, but now that we're getting even more, not confirmation, but... Hints towards that, how do you feel? I feel pretty good about it. Um, I'm really curious just to see what the story is going to be about. Uh, it's feeling more and more like a Rebels continuation or sequel series almost. Uh, and, and that seems to be the case. I mean, it makes sense. We've been hearing, yeah, uh, live action Ezra is coming as well. And if Sabine and Ahsoka are in this story together searching for Ezra... That does seem like a Rebel sequel series. I'm a little uh, like split on how I feel that it's the the Rebel sequel stuff isn't animated. Like that was a long time rumor as well. Yeah, and maybe they shifted their plans to live action. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm excited to see him in live action. I think that's really cool. But I'm also like I I wouldn't mind seeing more Star Wars animation. Oh yeah, I mean I think we're definitely going to get some kind of new animation show announcement soon. But yeah, it will be weird having this continuation of Rebels characters not animated and in live action. But people went crazy when Ahsoka popped up in Mandalorian. So I think it's, they're going to do the same thing. Yeah, and <laughs> I think it's... The Rebels characters. I think it's good business practice as well to get... Uh, the more casual fan interested into the animated side of things be like, yeah, I, I mean, I, I think it's pretty obvious that people tend to care more about live action than animation. Uh, and I think it's good to try to drive people further down that rabbit hole. But th that's how it's seemed for uh, Marvel as well. Like, we didn't really get into what if so much. I'm excited for Hawkeye to come back. Yeah. Um, and and there just wasn't the same response or level of interest uh, in like our review videos as there were for The Mandalorian. So I think that they're probably trying to use live action to drive people further into Star Wars content. Yeah. Do we know, because I looked her up on IMDb and she hasn't really done a whole lot. She's done a couple of next Netflix shows. S Society, The Voyeurs, uh, nothing I've seen, and uh, Guns Akimbo. I saw a clip of her from that and uh, seemed like fun. She had colorful hair in that too. <laughs> Ooh. So, oh, yeah. I can't yeah. wait to see what color her hair is. Right, yeah. Do you think it's going to be like Ramona Flowers where she changes it every week? Or... <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it'll change much in the course of the show. I'm also curious... If she's going to appear in just the Ahsoka series, I kind of doubt it. As a Mandalorian character, I would like to see her interact with the other Mandalorians. Yeah. I mean, a scene with her and Din talking about like, yeah, Bo-Katan won't just take the Darksaber. And she'd be like, really? She took it from me? No problem. <laughs> really? What a weirdo. <laughs> yeah. What? What's her deal? I'll take it. Here, give it to me. <laughs> yeah. Just give me a reunion of all these Mandalorian characters on screen. Yeah. It, it makes sense that she might be introduced in the Ahsoka series and then shift into the Mandalorian season four, maybe, um, because it sounds like Mando season three will come out, then Ahsoka, and then Mando season four, maybe, or however, they're going to continue building the story. Whether or not she goes into the Mandalorian or Rangers of the New Republic or whatever, I think she'll definitely be in the climactic story event that this is all supposed to build into. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, the, I, I wish I knew more of her work. I'm just not familiar with it. Uh, so <laughs> it's hard to talk about. I'm just excited, yeah, at the notion of having more live action characters. I do kind of wish that we would get 
some more just i'm i guess i'm just saying like it seems like we get one star wars animated series at a time we mm-hmm. had the bad batch and then visions pops in but it seems like they're just gonna do bad batch for a while and then maybe we'll get this crimson dawn animated series i wouldn't mind having more live or animated stuff to look forward to as well yeah i mean they usually spread that stuff out pretty well so but, yeah but that's what i'm saying it's, like let's do more series per year oh, okay. instead of spreading it out. Do you want them to like overlap? Sure. Oh. I don't know. I mean, not not overlap. Might so much, overwhelm but... some fans. Well, I I think that that's probably eventually going to happen where we have live action Star Wars and Marvel content at the same time. I think we're gonna get some overlap there eventually, and since it seems like not as many people are watching the animated stuff anyway. Why not have them overlap a little bit? Yeah. I think we're going to eventually get to some overlap. Something I really hope to see, uh, and this is just me and my wishful thinking, but I would love to see Tia Sakar cameo in the first episode that we see Sabine. Yeah, that's always something that I I feel kind of frustrated with. I don't know. Like, I, I love... Tia and Ashley Eckstein, and they like introduce these characters to us. Um, but I, I understand that this is just the reality of the situation. So if they could find some way to pay homage mm-hmm. to those characters, even if they, yeah, if they get cameos, like you say, like Matt Lanter uh, played that New Republic officer in yeah. The Mandalorian, stuff like that, or maybe even, I don't think they would do this, but having uh, Tia's voice come out of Sabine's helmet, like mm-hmm. when she's in armor. That would be cool. I, I think that's probably just too much extra and unnecessary work. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully when and if this news gets confirmed by Disney and Lucasfilm, maybe Tia Sakar can then talk openly about this and tell people how she feels about it because, you know, it, I don't really subscribe to the idea that she is the only person that could play Sabine or, you know, Ashley is the only person that can do Ahsoka. Um, but it would just be curious to hear what she had to say. Yeah, kind of like Ashley did. And she was very welcoming to Rosario. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I think that she had something to say about just being like a little disappointed <laughs> that she I think she found out along with the rest of us. Mm. And uh I, I could see a little communication would be nice. But yeah, I, I think it would be cool to, in the Ahsoka series especially, somehow uh, pay tribute to Ashley and Tia and their work introducing these characters. And it's something like, moving forward, what happens? Like, if if we do an animated Star Wars Rebel series, who voices those characters from that point forward? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, I would hope that they would stick with the original animated voices, but that's another interesting thing to consider. I think they would stick with the original voice actors. Yeah. I mean, who knows? (laughs) I I think that they should. Depends on what kind of contracts they signed. Right. (laughs) (laughs) So an interesting world (laughs) that we're stepping into with Star Wars and all these different series. But Mm. uh, yeah, that's it. That's the news and our thoughts on it. Do you have anything else? Did you want to say? I don't think so. All right. I'm ready for this show. Yeah. Well, it's probably going to be out in 2023. I think it said March 2022 is when it's going to start shooting, according to Deadline and Variety again. I guess I'll so, just be here waiting. Yeah. So we're probably <laughs> looking at early 2023, I would guess. But yeah, that's it for today. Uh, let us know what you think of this casting down in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.